This video is the Anchor Sound Flare Plus. Now they've got a normal Sound Flare, then they've got Sound Flare Plus, and then they've got the Sound Flare something coming out. I can't remember what one it is. Link in the description down below. Check out their website. Anyway, this speaker is a 360 degree speaker, so that means that when you're playing music, you won't just hear it in the straightforward position, you will hear it in 360. So that means it's a bit like omnidirectional. You'll hear it all the time, all the way around you. So you plonk the speaker like this, like that, like that, and it's gonna be, you're gonna be hearing exactly the same sound. Now this has got a nice little badge on there saying sound core. Um, it's got the button features on there, they're pretty rugged, definitely rugged design. But I love the little cotton feel. Feels like some old school cushion chair thing that they've wrapped the actual speaker in. And it's really weird because you can't see any holes for it for the speaker to come out. Um, it's got a nice little carrying strap right here. This is waterproof and you can dash it in the water and it'll be okay. And it does have RGB at the bottom, which means that it can go to the beat of the music. And you've got an app as well you can download and you can go through all the directions of what it's asking you to do. So say that you want to have it to be like in sleep mode or whatever, not sleep mode, but chill mode, you got that and then you got party mode and then you got other modes as well. And it's all got different lights that configure with it. And it also doesn't, it's not like really bright at sleep mode. It's obviously dimmed down and stuff like that it has a bass boost button it has a play and skip forward and skip backtrack and a bass boost which i think i said as well and obviously the button on here it's got a bluetooth button and it comes up in like two bluetooth bits uh, but you just connect to one and then it has all the functions you can obviously speak through it as well so far i've tested it the sound sounded really good and obviously how you work this, you can obviously use a 3.5 millimeter jack. You can get this and connect it away from you from 20 meters away. And it also does have a micro USB cable that comes with it. And you can obviously plug it in via USB and use it as a charging um, backup for your, obviously your devices as well. So I'm just gonna turn it on so you hear the sound. So it sounds like something out of Skype. I think it's not, I don't know if it's connected to my phone though. So let's check. So on the screen, you will see that it comes, where's it gone? There we go, Sound Flare Plus and Sound Core uh, Flare a ball. Plus a ball, that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna obviously connect into that one. And then it says connecting. And that means that I'm connected via the Sound Core. Now I'm just going to obviously turn it up to full blast, just so you can hear it. Um, I'm going to put it down, I'm going to put it left and put it right and then you can hear what it sounds like for you. And then obviously I'll hold it and I'll spin it around so you can see if there's any difference that you can hear. So it's going to go on um, a thing for music, let's have a listen. Play, play music. Oh yeah, bass boost is already enabled straight away as default, so I'll turn that off first and then we'll just play it.
up full blast. What did you think, guys? Anyway, I'm going to go into the app real quick. So the app is you download it from the Play Store. Obviously, I'm using uh, Google, and it's the Soundcore app, which is here. So if I come a little bit closer, so you can see what I'm talking about, you know. Um, click on this one. It says Soundcore, you know. Mm, lovely, 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 lovely. So there it is, it's all plugged in. It also gives you an indication of how much battery life you've got left. And you hold this plus button and then it search for our other um, Bluetooth devices, which we don't really want, but that's what it just looks like. And then you've got press and play and pause depending on the music you got. And then the RGBs or the LEDs at the bottom, you click that and then that's what will give you like the chill. So you've got glow, you've got breathe, you've got uh, sync, and then you got fusion. So when I'm playing the music, this is what it will give me. So if I go back to that music thing, hang on, I'm gonna turn it down probably a little bit. So you should be able to see the lights down there at the moment. So at the moment, I've got, I can turn, it comes standard as default as that, but you can have it so it's proper light chilled. But, and then you can have it so, is it breathing? Let's see. Right, there we go. So it's, it's synced with the music now, and then this is Fusion. And obviously I can turn the light down wherever I want it to be. But I want it up there, and then you've got Breathe. And then you've just got Glow. And then you can go to Bedtime. And then that's got Sleep Mode on there and stuff like that. Let's sync it with the music. And then Spring. So you've got Pulse, that looks sick. Fusion. Sleep mode, it's gonna literally switch itself off in 30 minutes. But we don't want that, so we cancel that. This is how simple it is. So that's all you got. Oh yeah, and you got, so chilled bedtime and spring, what we went on. You've got energy as well. So it gives a nice little bit of depth and that. Obviously you can have the pulse like that. Fusion as well, it's all different colors. Then glow, you can make it even brighter. And then you've got party, which I don't know. Yeah, there you go. That looks pretty cool. Fusion, pulse, all nice and bright and glow. Does it go different colors with the glow? Let's do, there we go. So with uh, the music sync it does, and then you can just switch it off if you don't want to see it, but you want to play music. But anyway, back to that, and then go to back to here, and we go to like the graphic equalizers. And what you could do is you can add a bit more bass. So you've got chilled, you've got default, you've got voice, you've got flat. So I'm gonna turn it up so you can have a little listen.
Okay, cool. Right, so keep the music on a little bit. Right, so also what I've noticed as well is if you go into here, you got update firmware on here and the serial number of whatever the speaker is. You can rename it and change the name or disconnect it so other people can use it. But yeah, let's let's talk, let's talk. So what I noticed about this Bluetooth speaker, the charge time wasn't as long as what it specifies. It's a little bit less, but it depends on what kind of music. If you're straining it for more bass and uh, proper loud volumes and stuff and you're using it to charge off, it's not gonna last as long. But other than that, if you're gonna use it as moderate as just a Bluetooth speaker, then it's pretty decent, it's all right. It's rugged, it's waterproof. Um, what else was I gonna say? So with this, in water, there's two different versions. There's a version that you like where you can have it and it floats in the water and it's no problem and you can still listen to music and then you've got ones that sink. Now, I haven't put this in the water yet because I don't really want it. I really actually like this speaker and I wanted to do the review so you can hear the clarity of sound. What I've noticed is when you get speakers wet, anything that's waterproof that's wet, that's meant to be speaker, it sounds terrible afterwards and you have to drain it and everything like that. But I have shown, there is a, I'll leave a link in the description down below showing you that it does work with all water and everything like that. And I have tried Bluetooth speakers quite loads, of, quite a few times you've seen on the channel where it goes in the water and everything like that. And then you're like, oh, the sound sounded a bit like weird and that is it like broken or whatever? No, it's just got the water in it and then you need to let it dry. Anyway, I'm pulling things off of it because I can see there's looks of bits of hair. If you've got a cat and a hairy dog, then obviously, this speaker is gonna pick this up unless it's just gonna be in the corner. Looks like a little bookshelf speaker, but it's pretty decent. It's got illumination of the lights as well, so obviously for the bass, and obviously to turn off. Yeah, that's it. So you can change and cycle through the menu of what you do on there. Then it's got a minus, so obviously volume down, play button and pause, and plus as well. And you can skip tracks and everything like that. Obviously answer calls. Anyway, I hoped, this looks lovely, doesn't it? I hope this uh, speaker was um, enough information for you to make your right purchase. This will cost you $100, so probably about £89 or a little bit less, maybe a little bit more in English pounds to Grand Barbados. And I definitely recommend it because the sound sounds awesome. You just need to hear it in real life and it looks really stylish. So aesthetics and usability for charging your phone and other devices, then you can stick it in um, a bookshelf definitely worth doing anyway if you like this video subscribe share like and follow me on instagram facebook and all that sort of stuff and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching roger and rgb out <laughs>